So with this first lesson, this is the, the first chapter is all about gross income, and we're going to talk about some of these uh, key terms. So gross income is the total amount that um, you make uh, in your paycheck, how much money you're bringing in, and that is before deductions and taxes and that sort of thing. So the gross income is total amount coming in. Um, and one thing you want while we're going through this chapter is think about why is it important for you to understand the information on your paychecks? I want to take a minute to think about that. Um, since you guys didn't want to explain what the, would you rather, I'm guessing no one's going to check, uh, chime in here. So I'll just tell you uh, one reason why you want to understand the information on your paychecks is so that you know that you are getting paid the right amount. Um, this happened to me a few years ago. Uh, about five years ago, I got my master's. And when you get a master's in this school district, you get a pay raise. And so I, I completed my master's. I turned in my paperwork so I could get my pay raise. And the first paycheck I got after the pay raise, I was excited. And then I looked at it and they had made a mistake. They weren't paying me enough. They, uh, they filed my paperwork incorrectly. So I had to go back to human resources and make sure they corrected that. So if I didn't understand the information in the paycheck or how much I should be getting paid, I could be out, you know, thousands of dollars at this point. So it's important that you understand what's in your paycheck so you know uh, exactly if you are getting paid the right amount or not. And then not only that, uh, it's when you get your first job, I don't know how many of you have a job right now um, or, ha or have had a job. Uh, it's it's a little shocking how much money comes out of your paycheck with taxes. Uh, it's about 20% of your paycheck comes out from taxes and other deductions. And so you might, uh, it's a little shocking the first time, um, but it's good to understand where that money's going for and why there's those deductions. Um, today we're talking about straight time pay. Um, straight time pay is just if you have an hourly job, how much you get paid based on how many hours you work, your total pay. Uh, so some jobs, when they pay you a fixed amount of money, uh, that's an hourly rate when they pay you by the hour. Um, so this example here, seven fifty an hour at the local cinema to sell tickets. Uh, it's a movie theater at the concession stand. Uh, the seven fifty is an hourly rate, and so the manager has scheduled to work fifteen hours per week. Um, if you use to calculate your straight time pay, it's real simple. You just do your hourly rate times the number of hours you work. And that's gonna give you the straight time pay or the gross income for that pay period. Um, 750 sounds like not a lot of money. Uh, the minimum wage in California right now, I believe is $13. Um, I can tell you, one of my first jobs I had when I was in high school, I got paid 650. And I was pretty excited because uh, at the time, the minimum wage was 575. I was getting 75 cents over minimum wage, and I thought that was pretty good. But yeah, minimum wage in Colorado when I was in high school, five seventy-five. So thirteen dollars is pretty good. Um, so let's look at an example of how to do this. Uh, Ronaldo is a financial consultant. He earns thirty dollars per hour and works um, uh, thirty-two point five hours per week. So what is his straight time pay? So the straight time pay, so how much he's paid, again, is the hourly rate, not rate, times uh, how many hours worked. So real simple, just $30 is the hourly rate, and then work 32.5 hours. When you're working through these problems, Use a calculator. I don't expect you to try to do this by hand or in your head. Use a calculator. That's what I'm doing right now to calculate that out. 30 times 32.5 is 975. With straight time pay, that period was $975. Why don't you guys take a minute and do this one on your own. What is the straight time pay for Sylvia? She earns fifteen eighty per hour. Last week she worked thirty four hours. What is the straight time pay?
And then when you get your answer, go ahead and put the answer into the poll. So just waiting on a few people. Looks like eight of you still need to answer the poll. If the poll didn't show up, just put your answer into the chat so I can give you credit for participating. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end the poll. results so just about everybody got it right one person made made a little simple mistake um yeah if you do 15.8 times 34 that is equal to 537.2 uh make sure with this we don't do any rounding so i'm not sure if, if the person that got 537 rounded down you don't do rounding all right especially on your paycheck might only be 20 cents, but you don't want to be cheated out of that 20 cents. Make sure you get paid everything you deserve. All right. So the next type of problem we're going to look at is uh, what to do if you know your hourly rate and how much uh, you made that week. We want to find how many hours you actually earn. So the same top thing. I'm going to start with an equation because that makes it easy for me to to work through so your pay how much you get paid is equal to your rate times how many hours you worked uh the 522 per week that is how much we got paid so that's gonna i'm gonna replace that here and then the 2250 was the rate, so I'm going to replace that there. And we don't know how many hours you work, so I'm just going to use a variable. I'm going to use H for hours. And then from here, all it is is a simple solving the equation. Solve for H, since we're multiplying by 22.5, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 22.5. And I get uh, 5.2, again, make sure you're using the calculator with this. Um, this comes out to 23.2 hours after you put it in a calculator. So you guys give this one a try. Lauren earns 8.35 per hour as a swimming instructor. How many hours per week must she work if she wants to earn approximately $190 per week? If you don't like setting up the equation, that's not something you necessarily have to do, uh, but it is, um, I find it helpful. I guess I'm also a math teacher, so I think equations are helpful. Just uh, solve it however, however works for you. And I'm going to share the poll now. So when you have your answer, put your answer into the poll.
So about half of you answered so far. Give you guys another 30 seconds or so to put in your answer. All right. Looks like we got just about everybody. So I'm going to share the results. So uh, that's good. 95% of you got the question correctly. Uh, if you got if you got 22 hours, you just made a mistake. Um, rounding. We don't want to round, so I'll just work this out real quick. Uh, 190 is equal to eight. 35 times the number of hours you worked and we were trying to figure out how many hours you worked. So just divide by 835. When you divide by 835, the 190 divide by 835, you get a really long decimal. Um, it comes out to 22.7544912. So we're, we're gonna round to the nearest hundredth and just leave it at 22.75 and so that's when you're working with finances um that sort of thing we we run we we round to two decimal places um especially with money because that's that's how far um our money goes with decimal places so that is the lesson for today uh, what I'm going to do is show you how to install the Cami extension so you can do the worksheet. Um, so I guess before I do that, um, I'll ask if there are any questions. <laughs> 